Hello guys, I hope you're doing really well and welcome back to my channel for a new video and this one has been a highly requested one over on my Instagram and it's my coat collection video. So if you are an OG subscriber of mine, you'll know my obsession and weakness is definitely coats and blazers. I can honestly never have too many coats. I love them so much. I'm such a sucker for a new coat. Honestly, it's such a problem. So I had to really like narrow it down for this video. So I've gone for like, my most worn. I do have have some new coats as well in this video which are new in my wardrobe I do have some older coats which are around three to four years old which of course I will try and link as many similar items the pieces have sold out in this video and I'll also share some alternatives for the higher price point coats as well so yeah let's get into my coat collection video so first of all I have this gorgeous coat which is new in my wardrobe you would have seen this already over on my Instagram it's from 12 stories but it is a very expensive coat so I will link a cheaper alternative for you but I absolutely love 12 stories for the quality of their pieces they sell lots of cashmere I have some really nice jumpers from them and as soon as I saw this coat I thought yeah that is a bit of me in a coat I just love the colour it's like the perfect like beige tone it's absolutely stunning so I got this in a size small it is a really nice thick style I do have a couple of other coats from 12 stories on this rail here as well but I just love this one because I really like the stitch detail and it has this like stitching along here but also on the edge of the pockets which looks so nice I feel like little stitching details on coats really do make them look so expensive of course this is more of a premium coat but yeah I absolutely love it and then next is this grey one from Under the Stories you'd have seen this featured in my best boys from 2022 video I absolutely love this coat I just think it looks so timeless so classic I feel like it's the perfect wrap coat I've been after a grey coat like this for so long honestly so long they also do it in black as well so I'm going to London next week and I'm going to hunt down the black one like I need to find it it's just such a gorgeous coat so this one is a wool coat but as you can see it's thinner than the other one that I have so I love these like lightweight style wool coats because you can throw them on but you can also wear them in the autumn like with a t-shirt underneath but you can layer them up with your thick jumpers in the winter time it's a really great piece that I could wear transitionally and then wrap it up nice and warm for the winter but it has some really nice deep pockets on I love the wrap detail and I got this in a size small then next is this this coat from Zara I'm absolutely obsessed with this coat I bought this I think it was at the beginning of last year like last January and it's just such a nice coat guys I love the herringbone like print on it I love the texture it also has these really nice thick cuff sleeves on which make it look more premium it's a longer length style you'll see like from the styles of coats that I like I literally love a oversized coat which I can wear open I do love a wrap coat as well but I always go for like a longer and mid length so I I got this one in an extra small small it did come in two sizes so medium large and extra small small so this is from like the beginning of last year but I'm sure Zara will probably have some alternatives I have seen a very similar coat like this in mango so I'll link that one for you then next I have this boucle style coat which is from naked fashion you guys know I absolutely adore naked for the quality of their pieces and their coats are so good guys honestly so good they do have like a premium quality on their website as well um but as soon as I saw this coat on the website I needed it so it is more of a longer length so this coat is very very long so I am five foot six for height reference so if you are like shorter than me they probably will be dragging on the floor that's the only thing we saw the naked coats they are like really long but I'm sure they did this style in a shorter version so I'll link that one for you but as you can see it's a really nice like boucle texture but I love the masculine style shoulders so I stay true to size in this and got a size 36 I find with naked I'm always a 36 but with my coats I used to always like size down to like a size 8 but then when it came to the winter wanting to layer and whatnot everything was like too tight and thick underneath so I always literally go either true to size if it's oversized or I'll do that one up depending on the fit and the style of the coat but this one has a belt as well which you can wrap around which looks so nice but yeah I just love the masculine shoulders on this and also the boucle texture then next is this brown camel coat so this one is around three years old it's from H&M and it's just an absolutely gorgeous quality so I got this one in a size extra small as it was a very oversized fit it has a really nice thick 
thick lining on the inside so this is more of my like cozy like cold winter um camel coat so i have this camel coat and also this one which is more of a tan but it's thin it doesn't have a thick lining on so i tend to wear this one more in the autumn time and i do like to switch this one when it is really cold in the winter i also love the texture of this coat as well it makes it look more premium more expensive but as you can see the quality of this is unreal i think i paid around i think it was about 140 pound for this coat but it sort of went online on h&m and went in seconds it went so fast but i've had it for just over three years now it looks immaculate and the quality is unreal then i have another cream coat which is also from naked fashion so this one is more of like a boucle texture and as you can see here this one is more cream and more softer this as well is absolutely gorgeous really really thick and cozy i've styled this a few times with my ugg boots and whatnot it has a nice thick lining on the inside but i also really like the nice like pale tortoiseshell buttons as well so it adds a really nice finish and detail you can sort of see the texture of this coat so i got this one again in a size 36 i did it in other colors this one also has shoulders in it. it's quite long but i felt like this looks a bit more formal a bit more smart so you could totally wear it in the daytime and the nighttime i just love how it hangs on then here is my other brown coat like i said this one is from 12 stories and as you can see it doesn't have a thick lining on but it's still like nice and thick it's great to layer underneath but i just love the color of this again it has the same sort of like stitch detail like the other coat that i showed you i feel like 12 stories really do focus on those little details which make a coat look so expensive it also has like, the stitch detail as well just down the edge of the sleeves it does come with a wrap belt but i tend to sort of wear this one open all the time i never sort of style my coats like done off they're either sort of open and hanging loosely i just like wrap my belt around them but this one i also got in a size small a very true to size and it comes in other colors as well then i have this other coat which is from 12 stories and as you can see it's a thinner style than the other two and it has a smaller collar detail but i really love like the oat biscuit shade of this coat it goes with so much in my wardrobe it's a very similar tone to my under the stories wool blazer and it just goes with everything so when i do invest in good quality coats i always make sure it goes with lots in my wardrobe lots of my outfits but also the right tone as well sometimes i find that you can get like example like a camel coat you can get more of like a more of an orange like tone and sometimes it doesn't always balance up with your skin tone or with your outfits and whatnot so i feel like when i do buy my coats i make sure it's more like a softer muted neutral color and the tone of this coat also goes with everything it has a belt detail as well so i like to sort of wear it open wear it casually and wrap it up as well then next i have this long black coat from h and m i've just realized i need to give it a bit of a lint roller it's been next to a fluffy coat in my wardrobe and some jumpers so as you can see it is a oversized black coat it has a really nice like button detail on the sleeve i got this not last year the year before they did it in black and they also did it in beige because i feel like the quality in their coats weren't as good as the year before i'm not sure if anyone else has noticed that but i feel like the last couple of coats that i bought from h and m when i tried different ones i then returned them unless they are like a really high quality like a wool blend or from their premium collection so this one is from the year before but i really like the black fabric on this one because i found that some of their recent coats from last year had a sort of like polyester like shine to it so the quality really wasn't that great so this one i got it in a size small really nice really happy that i got it again you can wear a black coat with so much you could dress it up dress it down wear it in the evening time wear it for work i think a black classic coat is just a good staple in your wardrobe and i really love this one then finally i I have this hound's tooth print coat which is from h&m i got this one as well not last year the year before you would have seen this in my paris vlog from a couple of years ago and honestly i love it i feel like it looks so different as well i really like the sort of brown and the hound's tooth print it looks very different than just wearing like a black and white hound's tooth that makes sense but again the tone works really well in my wardrobe so if you're wearing like a nice plain outfit underneath then you add this coat and it just elevates the look and adds some interest to the outfit so i also got this in a size small it is a oversized fit and then this was around 80 pounds so that is a collection of my favorite coats guys i hope that you've liked everything that i've showed you in this video today if you have then please make sure you give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well so yeah as always thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye guys